If you need to compare two different sets of data, Excel has a lot of different uh, useful tools for you. Um, you could use the go to command with special column differences. Um, you could use conditional formatting. You could use an if statement. If they're sorted differently but you think they have the same contents, you could use a VLOOKUP to try to find one in the other. Um, you know, and if they're just numeric, you could even just simply subtract one from the other and uh, that would easily show you which ones were different. However, once text is involved, that's not going to work. So, uh, let's talk about using the exact command. This is one of the really most simple functions in Excel. Um, like anything, you're going to start with an equal sign and then the word exact. Open your parentheses and then choose a cell, a comma, a second cell, close your parentheses, and that's it. Or you could use the function wizard and pick your cells that way. You are limited to just comparing two cells with exact. Um, and then just fill that down. And there you go. Anything that says true is a match. Anything that's false is not a match. If you have a really long list of data, you might want to turn on your filtering. And then you can look at just the ones that are, are not a match. We'll turn that back off. But that's really how simple it is to use exact to compare two sets of data. Sometimes, um, you know, if I'm comparing the list and I discover that uh, that maybe there's a missing entry in one of the cells, like here, you, know, you can see this list is shorter. Once I discover, I'll fill that back down. Once I see that that's where I get off, then I'll just come back in and I'll insert a row, row a cell, shift cells down so that everything gets back in sync and I can copy that down again and see you know if it picks up now I'm picking up with trues again and so that's just a little thing you can do to uh, to help continue comparing a list when you find that there's you know just one missing entry but that's it um, exact just compare one cell to the other it doesn't get much easier than that but that can really save you a a, a ton of time and work trying to dig through two lists trying to find differences so I hope you find that useful